We finally have an update on the police investigation into the SNP's financial corruption and it's not looking too good for Humza Useless. Okay, let's take this back to Scotland for a minute. Uh, we have some update from Police Scotland. Uh, they have escalated the investigations. Uh, by Obviously, they collected so much um, evidence and material over the last few weeks uh, from camper vans and uh, horse boxes. <laughs> I don't know, they didn't really seize the horse box. Uh, to laptops and other equipment that they did from uh, Nicola Sturgeon's home and the SNP central office. Now... They're looking at so, into something new. Amazon Prime. Yeah. So, um, there is a, apparently an Amazon Prime account that has seen a lot of spending that is not being explained properly. <laughs> so, all that money that's been missing, apparently some of it might have been spent on Amazon Prime to buy stuff. More than 1,000 alleged instances of fraud has been linked to an Amazon account. Um, so I don't know what they bought, but the police are preparing a second round of interviews. So today is Sunday the 14th of May. So let's just say that this coming week, we're gonna see some fireworks in Scotland, guys. And um, I believe that we are getting closer to the end game for the SNP as an establishment. Um, but it's all about how much this will affect Humza Yusuf uh, as an individual, how much was he involved? You know, not necessarily to get arrested, but anything, any damage, reputation-wise. And what's going to happen with the actual SMP as a whole? Are they going to meet their deadline to file their accounts after the, the new auditors that have been found from Manchester, of all places? Uh, what's going to happen with the camper van? I'm just more interested about the camper van. <laughs> so, firstly, the camper van we've discovered was actually bought from uh, Urbanheimer uh, Center Travel World, which is outside Birmingham. And then it was driven 300 miles up to Scotland uh, by two men, apparently, three years ago in 2020. Okay, so what is it with the SNP? Um, on the one hand, they claim to be very protectionist and nationalist, saying we shouldn't do anything with England and the English. They go and find uh, accountants to audit their accounts from Manchester, now they go and buy uh, their camper vans from Birmingham. <laughs> what happened to Scottish jobs for Scottish people? Scottish camper vans for Scottish people. Oh dear. Okay, so a source said that there has been an Amazon account which may have been linked to SMP funds and purchases from that account are being looked at very carefully. Uh, there are over 1,000 individual items that the police are looking at as potential instances of fraud and go back a number of years. Wow, that's going to take them a while. Goods range from uh, quite expensive items to relatively cheap everyday products. But the point is that all of these things together could add up to a very serious criminal allegation. Companies and political parties cannot just spend money any way they want. Uh, there, there are rules about how people are paid and there are obviously huge tax implications as well. Everything needs to be properly accounted for legally and that is what the police are looking at here. It is an ongoing inquiry just because there hasn't been any more ar arrests doesn't mean nothing is happening. Quite the opposite is true. A team of specialist officers are working on this full time, going through all of the accounts and matching entries up uh, with what has been paid for via SMP bank accounts and then looking at where individual items that have been purchased have ultimately ended up. Officers are now going to be going back to several people they spoke to as witnesses and re-interviewing them then armed with the evidence that has been collected. So that is interesting. So um, because of the huge workload uh, for the police, especially the new evidence, which is this uh, Amazon account, yeah, it's going to take them a while. So as we said, uh, this is the latest update that we have got for you guys after weeks uh, it's a couple of weeks uh, but as uh, this source said uh, it doesn't mean that the police aren't doing anything they're just very busy behind the scenes uh, they are working on things 24 7 full time uh, and we, we should be able to get some new updates very soon i have a feeling this coming week is going to be quite interesting uh, certain people being re-interviewed re-arrested 
and more stuff be discovered. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya 2C and we are the media. <laughs>